All right, here we go. Sun's starting to set, so we'll go ahead and go through my wheel real quick. Got the uh, Black Dragon Pike. Got the Predatory Blade. It's one-handed sword. I got to fix this audio. There we go. Uh, moon bow, uh, blood moon bow, uh, truncheon, which is a weapon that you use to knock out uh, NPCs so you can abduct them and turn them into your thralls, binds so you can carry them back. Uh, blessed uh, Draketo Kiss, it's a skinning knife which gets uh, 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 yeah, shit you can use for. Uh, I'm blanking on what it's called right now, but it's used in, in, in rituals to make magical items. And there's my shield. Mist Morn. Alright. So. Weapon repair kits, yada yada yada. This is just, I saw online that this was a good build to, or good armor class to use, uh, set up to use, so I'm, that's what I'm using. It's a combination of, uh, crafted and legendaries here's what my attributes look like my encumbrance is maxed out because I hate slowing down just because I'm full of shit because I'm always full of shit um, vitality so uh, I got it to the point where it regenerates health uh, and then strength which increases my uh, combat obviously feast we're pretty much going to skip because there's a lot of pages to that and nobody cares but I have most uh, stats are reasonably okay I guess flip over to followers and these are characters that I have uh, rendered unconscious and dragged back to a wheel of pain and turned into my slaves. You'll notice some of them have names like Anna the Reaver, Annika of uh, Chimera, and Iona of the Iona the Seductress. Those are tier 4 plus named characters. Um, they are statistically better than normal ones. Uh, and as far as where I'm at on the map, Noob River. Noob River. Uh, but yeah, that, this is the same place where uh, in Duncan's world he built his uh, uh, home base over in this area. I built mine on his, in his world I built mine over here. Actually probably closer to, the, to right there I think. Uh, but yeah, it's just a good general area to build. Uh, the uh, uh, purges, which is what this meter down at the bottom is, when it, it reaches that first line, I start having the risk of uh, purges happening. Uh, but the purges in this area are relatively weak, so it's a good place to build, especially once you start strengthening it up. Like all the materials that my uh, keep here are made out of are tier three, which means. The purge here has basically no chance. I can just sit inside my walls and wait for the purge timer to run out. And then come back out and repair any damage that they happen to have caused, assuming they cause any at all. Uh, I got There's a fighter that spawns over there. Usually he's a fighter. He's a tier 1, so he's nothing to worry about. These are the main gates. Oops, didn't mean to turn that off. If you uh, take an immediate left, you come into the animal handling area. Stables, this is where you put uh, colts in there, or foals, uh, and raise them into uh, full-grown horses. The process takes, I believe, eight hours. Uh, this is for other animal ana ana models. Um, yeah, basically you Come on, hurry up and load. Oh, I, I hope I get close enough to hit the button. There we go. You throw in pets. You, you throw in the animals you want to uh, train. 
baby versions of course throw in the appropriate food and then wait uh, this one I haven't figured out how to make the roof properly yet I'll probably have to do some series of uh, pillars in strategic places to make it work but so far every attempt has been fugly as hell so we get in here the first line of defense if I find out about a purge early enough which and I'm in the right area uh, usually have about a 10 minute warning so if I'm close enough I can just come in here raise this and then all I have to worry about is the rear entrance second line of defense should I be unable to get to this in time we have two fully trained archers and these are just your standard archers and the reason they're wearing the, the armor that they are is because it's the armor that goes with the uh, their race slash nationality however you want to put it and they are captained by Enika of Kamira who is a badass fighter next line of defense is another drawbridge that can be raised should that section be lost through this gate you actually you're finally into the actual keef and immediate left you have the metal working stations here which are not yet fully manned I'm still working on that I'm having a harder time finding blacksmiths and uh, I've got all the armorers I need I think I think everything else I have left requires blacksmiths so but I'm having a harder time than I should, I think, of finding any. Uh, and here, this is where the horses grow once they're full, go once they're fully grown. This is mine. You saying colt? I've got several. I've got a handful of saddles made here for when Duncan plays. He can. Uh, the next time we play Duncan, he gets his own horse. Uh, he doesn't have to worry about crafting. But here's my woodworking area. This is where I was originally going to put all the animal stuff, but for whatever reason, the game wouldn't let me put any of it here. I mean, I have there's more than enough room here to put stables down. Wouldn't let me put staples down. Uh, the, uh, the the armored animal pen would theoretically fit. Won't let me put it down. Eh, whatever. Uh, through here you have the wheel of pain. Well, one of my wheel wheels of pain. This one's technically a greater wheel of pain. And I do have a named uh, thrall running it. I don't remember what statistic she gets. I, th I think it's the enemies do greater damage. Uh, after they've been... Uh, oh no, concussive damage. That's what it is. Uh, crafting weapons for uh, uh, yeah, basically the truncheon that truncheons I can make through here her do extra concussive da damage. And here you have my kitchen, which is fully staffed. They are they are all, however, tier one, which is something I'm need to address once I get everything else uh, finished setting up and we're gonna go over here and we're gonna go upstairs above the stable and we have one of my tannery sections the only reason this is separated is because I did not have enough room in my other one this is a plant based one and again a tier one tanner so we'll have to work on that. And here, however, I have two named tanners. Uh, many m the rest of my tannery stuff. So we'll go through here. And here we have my wizard shop. Uh, have, this is a glitch. This was originally against that wall. I don't know why the game moved it. I will have to move it back at some point. Uh, but this is where you make all the potions. And here, corrupted stone, which will come in important here in a little bit. 
There's another thing I'll be showing you that used a lot, a lot of that, the Corrupted Stone. Uh, Dyer's Bench, where you make all the dyes for changing the colors, like this. And this is for making uh, ingredients for potions and other things, like turning iron into steel. You go out the back door, you come down, and in here we have my temple. There's my tier 4 priestess, who does not look like a tier 4 priestess. I don't even remember where I found her. I think I, I think it was a purge. But, uh, oh, here's what that skinny knife makes. Every time you uh, skin a human, use that skinny knife on a human, you get a, a uh, sliver of the unfulfilled, which is used for making things. Like, a lot of things. So you go through here, and you enter our throne room, or my throne room, where... Here is my named dancer, or my named performer, and uh, I know it's weird to have performers, but there are areas in this game that will uh, give you corruption for being in there, or uh, items you can equip that will cause corruption, which will reduce your uh, health and your uh, stamina and all that stuff, and for being around performers is the only way to get rid of it. So we'll step through here. This little hallway. All of this, all these uh, chests in here. Next time Duncan plays, these are all for him. It's a, a collection of variety of armor and building materials, so you can experiment with, see what he likes. And in here we have my office, which basically is just building materials and whatnot that I'm still like not done with or haven't used yet. Stuff I've made and haven't uh, uh, done anything with yet, or have no need for it at the moment. And we're going to take my elevator up into my personal quarters. Uh, this used to be where I kept all my armor. I'll show you. What you uh, I'll show you where it went to here shortly. Uh, my collection of weapons that I have used uh, and my tools and kits for upgrading and repairing and whatnot. You go up here. This was originally intended to be like an attic area for storage, but it's it's considerably less convenient than I had planned. It can be kind of a pain in the ass to get in and out of, so I left an opening here so I can just go. Oh. Boop. Now through here, oh. this is my new walk-in closet, which I still haven't quite figured out how I'm... I'll probably throw in like a wall here or something. Wall this off. So that uh, I'll, I'll be the only one that has access to it. But yeah, these are all different armors that I've built and used for different things. Some of it is just like, this is all crafted stuff. I made I, I made it mostly because I've never made it before and I had the excess material, so I said, what the hell? And yeah. Uh, talking fantasy bikini stuff in there, it's like, eh. So once you get down in here, this is more of the original vault area. Like over here you have uh, uh, legendary items that I'm willing to share and parse out. This is all stuff that, these are all legendaries that I have collected. Uh, legendaries are not unique, you can get them multiple times. Because, of course you can. Uh, this is currently empty, but this is where I was originally storing them, but organizing them become, became too much of a pain in the ass. So now they're just like this. Now we get into the valuables. The real valuables. Uh, this one's empty because it will eventually be copper. I don't have any copper coins or anything at the moment. 
but this is all silver. And this is all gold. You come in here to this side. These are magical items. Uh, this is one piece of uh, the Scourge Stone. You collect all the pieces of the Scourge Stone and take it to a guy. He'll put it together and it becomes a, a piece that you need in order to remove the bracelet. I have two other pieces here. Uh, come in here. That's just the key to What's-Her-Face's house. Um, when you beat the Witch King, uh, Witch Queen, you get uh, Rasma's quarters. Key to, Ra key to Rasma's quarters. Um, she was the one that was possessed by the Witch King. And this is just random mystical shit. You come in here. And this is what all that uh, cruft stone was for. I've still got a bunch of it. This is my map room. Once you learn the cartographer uh, skill, you can build this. And you'll notice uh, it says bracelet not attuned. That's because as you go oh. places, you will find uh, 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 monoliths, there you go, uh, that you can attune your bracelet to. And once you attune your bracelet to it, you can teleport to it. So I've, I've attuned to a few of them. Uh, in case you're wondering on the map here, we are right here. So, yeah, that's, I suppose I should point out, uh, the, the, ma the majority of this is made out of arena blocks. Originally, I was planning on putting these all the way around and having, like, seating out there or something, but I was just taking way too much room. So what does it look like when you teleport? Uh, maybe I'll finish the video off with that. Because I got something up. I still have the ramparts to show you. Oh, and the back entrance. So we will jog our ass out of here. I just realized I didn't show you all the upstairs, which come back up here. There's the tannery and the other tannery. You can come upstairs from that. And you have boiling oil. Should they, uh, should have heard you make it past the first gate, and then the second gate, and then the draw first drawbridge, and then the second drawbridge. When they reach this, the last gate, they get it burning or boiling oil. We run from both sides. There's another three of them on that side. This, I'm not entirely sure works properly just yet, but I'm going to show it to you in a minute anyway. Uh, this is my little garden area. You grind up bones to make bone meal, which you can then put in here to make, uh, mix with plants to make compost, which you can then use to grow your own crops. Which, oh, this one's out of seeds. I need to go do, farm some more seeds. But then again, wow, that's a lot of aloe. I won't need, won't be needing aloe for a while. This one's still got stuff working. That one doesn't. Uh, 
Looks like this one's... Well, no, it's still got seeds. Yep. It's still going. Bees for making honey, which can be either used directly as food, or you can use it as an ingredient in food, or even for mead. And this, the thing that I said I wasn't entirely sure about yet, the idea behind it was I was going to make a really tall tower. And I ended up not making it super tall. But it's it's tall enough that it's the tallest thing in the immediate area. The thought was, if I put this up here, maybe it'll be bright enough that I can see it from out there. I haven't really had a night dark enough yet to really test that, though. Nice view, though. Saying Colts get antsy because I don't take them out very often. Uh, rear entrance. Here's Anna the Reaver with two other fighters. They're both tier one, but they're both fully trained. So they should be more than enough should anybody come this direction. And yeah, there's my keep. So I'm just going to pop in, pop back into the uh, map room real quick. I may make another entrance to the, that goes directly into the map room. I haven't decided yet. In case I'm, anybody's wondering. Because we ha I know we've had this conversation. When you... In this game, armor is armor. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit more form-fitting on females than it is on men. But, uh, by and large, you'll even occasionally find stuff that, uh, is more revealing on men than it is on women, which is kind of unusual for these games. So we'll pop back through here. And up the stairs. And where do we want to go to? That's just down the way that it see here. That leads to right here, which is where I've been farming out a bunch of my uh thralls. Unfortunately, everything over here is tier uh, tier one. So there's where my wheel of pain is. I built it on an island out here. Knock them out, and I drag them back here, and uh, uh, throw them in the wheel of pain until they're ready. I've got another wheel of pain set up over here f for farming this place. This place ten tends to have more tier threes. It's just a bit of a pain in the ass to get to sometimes let's see here I know I've got there we go this is the one that will take us up near the dragon so we are going there or I should say the undread undead dragon do 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 this part's going to be cut or sped up Whatever. Oop. Obelisk, that's what it that's what they're called. And I've already tuned it to this one, so 
Um, it, when I first found this place, I tried climbing down and fell and died every freaking time. There, that sound is usually a ghost or a spirit. Do I, have I got this already? I don't remember having that one. So I'm not actually going to jump down there. But if I edge up... Oh, shite. Excuse me while I... Where, where did the other guy go? Did he fall? Nope, there he is. Wow, that wasn't even an attack towards me. This is about as close to undead as you're going to get in this game. I mean, there's some monster type stuff. And stuff that claims to be undead. But they're... Like that down there claims to be an undead dragon. Don't seem very undead to me. It dies just fine. All these things die just fine. Uh, the actual entrance to that is actually over here. And yeah, that's basically where I'm at in this game so far. Uh, the end. Time to edit. <laughs>